number 16 then from the 2016 Advanced Tower Math. Last question, nine marks. This linear differential equation describing some real situation with information given. And quite a good question actually to illustrate something that you might want to be aware of. Because it's very easy just to look at this question and say, oh, that's just a standard and be quite blasé and say, right here we've got a differential equation. The dependent variable is, this is temperature, the independent variable is time. So I'll just integrate that. I'll get an equation for the temperature. I'll put in the initial value. I'll get one constant. I'll put in another pair of values and I'll have my full equation. And once I've got that, I can do what I like with it. And yes, that would work. And that's usually what it is. And that's what I did initially when I saw this, I just leapt in, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't actually take you, take you much longer doing it that way. But you do hit against one little problem, though, but it doesn't take long to get round it. So I'm going to have to do it twice. The way I did it, first of all, was just to say this thing. Right, I'll integrate this up. So first of all, I'll put the temperatures down with the temperature and the dt up this side and then integrate both sides. Well, I'll put this, maybe I'll just put that in there. And doing that would get you a mark. So integrating this up makes ln of, now, this temperature's always going to be greater than it said that Tf was the temperature of the fridge, and T is the temperature of the object placed into it. So it starts off higher, and it'll always be higher. The most it can do is get down to that temperature. So this is never going to be negative, so I can just put this in. T minus Tf, I don't need a modulus there, is negative Kt plus C. Integrating it to that gets you a mark. And again, just leaping into it, you're tempted, or rather I was tempted, just to go all the way down to get the temperature, the final explicit formula of temperature equals. Of course, the question didn't ask you at any point for an explicit formula, it just asked for some answers. But leaping ahead, just naturally, just going with the flow, you would just say, right, that'll be e to the power of negative kt plus c, which means that t is going to be tf, that's an f, plus, and that's can go in front as some constant, a e to the negative kt, where if you want to take a note, that a is equal to e to the c. There's no mark for this, quite possibly because it wasn't asked for, you just Rush into it. Well, now I put some values in, and the others have another wee subtlety here. But then you would just think, right, the initial temperature of this object placed in the fridge, in fact, it was a beaker of water, was 25 degrees, so that must have been the ambient temperature. I presume it was just sitting in the room there at 25 degrees. You pop that in, and the fridge was at 4 degrees. So if you put those numbers into it, 25 is equal to 4 plus. AE, and that was at time zero. That's the thing, you would just naturally assume, right, what was the initial condition? At time zero, it was at 25. So you pop that in, and that then gives you that A must be 21. So now I've got my formula. T equals four plus 21 E to the negative K T. There's a mark for working out A. And then you think, well, there's my formula. Now I just need to put in any other pair of values and can get K. So you look for a pair of values to put in, and then you go, oh, I've certainly got a temperature put in, and I know it's at noon, but T means the amount of time after the start. And T is unspecified here, so you can choose yourself. Whatever you choose for T, that will affect K, of course. You could make T in minutes or T in hours. You're better off going for T in minutes. But you don't know how many minutes that was after the start. That was the problem you hit when you just leap in head first. But you've gone so far, you might as well continue. So I'll just have to introduce that as an unknown amount of time. And what I'll get are two equations that I can then find this k from, rather than just having one equation, which is the ideal case where you'd find the k. So I'll have to use this pair. So I'll have to use the pair where I put it. I'll say, T n equals the time at noon. Minutes until noon. So T n means how many minutes after the start was noon. So now I can put this down. So 9.8 is 4 plus 2, no, 21 e to the negative. I'll just have to call that T n k. But doing that gets you a mark. Another one is 
6.5 is 4 plus 21e to the negative. Now that's going to be 15 minutes more than this. So that's going to be Tn, I'll call it, plus 15k. Shift you over. And you get a mark for that. Now I've got a pair of simultaneous equations. That's the problem this way. So how do you sort out these simultaneous equations to find k? That means you want to eliminate t. Well, in fact, I'll not name them yet because the way to eliminate that would be to divide them. But I don't want to divide them with that 4 there. So I'll have to write it again, so I'll have to do this little bit up the side here then. So my two equations would be this first one. I've got 21e to the negative t, I'll just say t of n, equals, and that's 5.8, there's equation 1. And this one has got 21e to the negative, and that'll be tn plus 15k. We'll be and taking that across as 2.5, I'll call that 2. So doing 1 divided by 2, will give me, well this side will be 5.8 over 2.5 and that will be, dividing those would be subtracting their indices. So it's negative t take away, negative t, t's disappear and taking away the negative 15 means you've got e to the 15k is equal to that. So then k is going to be ln of 5.8 over 2.5 divided by 15, or I'll we'll just put the 15th at the front. There's an extra mark, of course, doing it this way. The appearance of that t plus 15 got your mark, because that was the problem in this leaping in. You ended up with simultaneous equations. And if you put it in your calculator, you get 0 0.0561 dot dot dot, Doing, getting that gets you a mark. Now you can go back to number one here, for instance, and work out that time. Number one, of course, being this equation here, which I worked out unnecessarily. Right, so in number one, if I just jump into it here, Divide by 21, take the log of that, and divide by negative k. So, tn is going to equal, and tn was the minutes after noon, tn is going to be the log of 5.8 over 21, divided by, and multiplying k was, t was negative k. Divided by negative 0 0.0561, which is still in the calculator. And if you type that in, you get 22.933 and so on minutes. Of course, that was a 21. Getting that is the eighth mark. So the last part then is, so when was it placed in the fridge? Well, it was placed in the fridge 22.933 minutes before noon. Placed in fridge at 12.00 minus, of course I'll have to change that into nearest minute, so that's just minus 23 minutes, which means you're at 11.37. That's the final mark. So how could you have made that just a little bit easier so you didn't end up bumping against a pair of simultaneous equations? Well, you could have spent possibly the same amount of time at the beginning looking at the question. Because all it did was said it gave the rate of cooling and at no point did it ask you to do anything apart from give the final answer. It didn't say make an explicit formula either way round. And it didn't tell you when the temperature was 25. Now, all through this question, you know all the temperatures. It's a time you don't know, so you'd actually be better off rearranging that formula to have time equals. Another thing is, you'd probably be better off calling this time zero, noon, because then I've got a pair together here, and I've got another pair here, so I'll get my two constants straight away without simultaneous equations. The only difference it makes is, 
that this initial time then will be a negative time. But if you can live with a negative time, it should be faster. Starts off the same way. dt, as in temperature, so over temperature, will be negative k dt, as in time. And integrate that. We'll pop it in there. Do that. Gets you a mark. Integrate it. Well, that's ln of, and that's t minus tf. And I can safely use those round brackets because that can't be negative. Is negative kt plus c. That gets a mark. Now, since it's only time that I'm interested in, you can actually leave it like that because it doesn't ask you to tidy it up at all. So at this point, I could work out the two constants just by saying, well, let t0 equal 12 o'clock. So maybe I'll put here, let t0 equal noon. So then if I put that in, I've got ln of and at noon, the temperature was 9.8. So it's 9.8 minus the temperature of the fridge is 4 is equal to, now that's going to be t0. So that's just going to be 0 plus c. So there's c immediately. So that means C is equal to ln of 5.8. That gets you a mark. Now to find K, I'll put in the next one. T equal to 15, in other words. And at T equals to 15, it goes to 6.5. So you've got ln of 6.5 minus 4 is equal to negative, and that's 15 now, negative 15k plus, and that c was ln 5.8. So it's all numbers apart from k, so I can find k. Doing that gets you a mark. So that means I can rearrange this, so negative 15k will be this log minus that log. I'll write k over this side. So that's subtract the logs, so that'll be a log of this divided by that. Well, that's 2.5, so it's 2.5 over 5.8. Of course, it's the same numbers coming out. But that was negative 15k gave you that. So it'll be that divided by negative 15. I'll just write negative a 15th of it. And pressing the buttons gives you, of course, the same answer, which means k is equal to 0 0.0561 and so on. Doing that gets you a mark. And if you've got those marks so much easier because you've avoided simultaneous equations, and I didn't bother writing the formula out formally. Now I can just go back to this line, just leaving it in that form, so I'll just call that one. Now I can go back to line one, equation one, and saying the, at the initial time, T was 25, and just feed that into it. So you've got ln of, and that's 25 minus 4, is negative 0 0.0561. I'll just put that in just now. And that's Ti plus ln 5.8. Notice I'm not even tidying it up because it didn't ask me to. And just doing that and just leaving it all lying there is worth a mark. I've just got to rearrange this. Maybe I'll just put this in a bracket because of that those trailing dots there, that multiplying that. So to get this, I'll subtract the logs. I'll take the TI over here. So the initial time would be this log, take away that log. So that's a division. So that's going to be 21 over 5.8 divided by this. So I'll just put over negative 0.0561. Doing that gets you a mark. And typing that in gives you negative, of course, 22.9333 and so on. And getting that gives you a mark. So that was a mark just for pressing buttons. Now you've just got to say, well, so the initial time was that before noon because you let T0 be noon. So placed in fridge, at T0, which is 12, minus to nearest minute 23, which is 11.37. Could always emphasise that as AM. And that's the final mark. 
Now, that was obviously a bit quicker because it avoided the simultaneous equations. But of course you had to take a little bit of time at the start just to decide on that alternative, preempting that that's what might happen.